guys in this video we are going to see how to do matrix multiplication using operator overload now in order to do this one first I'm going to create a class let's call this one OPR so class OPR and in this class I'm going to create a private section so first uh, before I do that I put a curly bracket and private section private section and this in this private section I'm going to declare integer type of variable as private member so integer type of variable let's call this one a and private member and I'm going to create this one as a 2d array because of the matrix we are going to declare this one as a 2d array and I'm going to create a 3 by 3 matrix so inside this uh, array I'm going to put 3 and we have to put one more array and that is 3 and after that we are done with this one now to get the input of the matrix I have to declare a function so here I'm going to declare the function as a public access specifier so this is going to be public but this would be semicolon right here and public access specifier is going to be just public and in the public access specifier the first function I'm going to introduce is a void get get function this is to get the input from the user so that's going to be void return type and get function bracket and we are done with the first function the second function we are going to have is the print function in order to display the matrix I'm going to create a print function so this is again this is a void return type and print bracket and then semicolon so now we are done with this one and the next thing we are going to do the overloading now in order to do the overloading I'm going to call the keyword friend friend and then OPR is the class name and again another keyword operator and since we are trying to do the multiplication I'm going to do the overloading of multiplication that's going to be multiplication sign right here and to specify we are going to put the class name OPR comma OPR and that's it for overloading and close this one and then close the curly bracket semicolon after that here we are going to do the two types of input so we are going to create a nested for loop but before I go ahead and do that I have to store this P object so OPR operator operator and multiplication and here we are going to store the P object OPR P and then we are going to declare a, another object called Q OPR Q and then now I am going to put create a nested for loop to do the two types of input so first we are going to create a for loop but to do the multiplication uh, I'm going to declare another object called t so let's call this an OPRT and inside this one I'm going to create the nested for loop for and first I'm int introducing the integer i and I'm initializing with 0 index and uh, since we are trying to create a 3 by 3 matrix I'm going to put this one less than 3 because the index goes from 0 0 right so 0 1 2 we already have 3 so that's why we have less than 3 so we will create a 3 by 3 matrix and this is going we are going to do the i plus plus increment by 1 and then inside of this for loop I'm going to cre create another for loop so this is going to be 4 and here we are going to put integer j integer j is equal to 0 and again since the, this is a 3 by 3 matrix I'm going to put this one less than 3 and then we are going to do the increment by 1 so this is going to be j plus plus right here and after that now we are going to do the t to bring the array so t dot a and uh, here the first array we call it i and then second is j is equal to 0 okay 
now this is for this one now to do the multiplication we have to create another integer called k so this is going to do the multiplication for loop and integer k integer k i'm initializing this one it's zero and since this is a three by three matrix k is less than three okay k is less than three and then k plus plus and that's it now we have to know the general formula for the matrix multiplication so here i'm going to put the formula for the matrix multiplication that's going to be t dot a i and then j is equal to equal to t dot a i j and plus bracket p dot a and then i j and then no no i p dot a i k this should be k right here this is k and this is multiplied by q dot a k j so this is for a, a formula for the matrix multiplication let's make sure everything is correct t dot a i j plus p dot a i k uh, times q dot a k j so this is okay now let's finish this one and we should have three curly bracket closed and after that we are going to return t so to do that we are going to put return t and that's it for this one now what we are going to do is we are going to get the input to get the input we are going to put the get uh, get function as we introduced here before to do the input we are going to put produce i mean we are going to introduce the get function so here we are going to put void and uh, void is a return type and class name is opr and get is our function inside is in, inside this function we are going to create nested for loops uh, for loops to get the input since we are trying to get two types of input we are going to create the nested for loop but before we do that we have to put a print uh, c out statement to enter the matrix for a user to input something right so here we are going to put the c out statement so this is going to be curly bracket open c out and then we are going to ask the user to put an input so this is going to be enter enter matrix and then semicolon and then we are going to create the nested for loop so for loop the first one we are going to put integer i we initialize this one is zero and then i is less than three since we are doing the three by three matrix i is less than three and then i plus plus and then inside of this for loop we are going to create another for loop for integer j is equal to zero and then j is less than three and uh, j plus plus j plus plus and now we are going to create an input input statement like a c in that's going to be c in a i and then j and then let's close this one now this is uh, that's it for the input part now we have to go and do our display part so to display the matrix on the screen we are going to bring this this second function we introduced that is print function so that's a, again that's a void return type void 
return type and the class name is opr and then this is a print function so print and then bracket close and it's, it's going to be exactly same as our this get function the only difference is we have to change the c in into c out so let's uh, copy this one and paste it right here so copy this one paste this one right here okay so we have a curly so we should start with the, this one with the curly bracket open and now we have this one and this should be c out c out and uh, okay i should leave a space c out and the space and let's close this one a i and j okay now we are done with this c out statement the next thing is after each row we have to leave a line so we are going to put a c out statement that is c out new line so new line is backslash n and we should put this one in a quad mark so quad mark backslash n and quad mark closed and that's it for this one now let's close all the curly brackets curly brackets and now that's it for the printing part now the next thing is after now we are going to do the main function and now to clear the output screen we are going to put a clear screen statement so clr scr clear screen bracket here and then semicolon now here we are going to input two uh, t two inputs so we are going to declare two objects right here so first uh, object so let's uh, opr is a class name and first object is o and the second object is s and to do the multiplication and store we are going to create another object called c and uh, now what i'm going to do is i'm going to call get function using o o.get so the first uh, input will be stored right here so this is going to be o.get and the first input will be stored here and to store the second input i'm going to use the s in s and call the get function so x s dot get and this is going to store the second input and after that we have to store the multiplication to store the multiplication i'm going to i'm going to use the c object we introduced right here so c is going to store the multiplication of o and s okay so this should be o right here o multiplication s and after it's stored we have to print this one print whatever we have stored so that's going to be c dot print and uh, that's it okay c dot print and to uh, to keep the results stable we are going to put another thing that's get ch so that's going to keep this one stable and that's it oh i had to put a bracket right here and that's it now this one should work let's run this one and see what we get okay there are some errors okay this should be a semicolon right here j is less than three this is this should be a semicolon now let's run this again okay there's uh, some mistake k was not declared in the scope Oh, this should be J plus plus. I don't know why did I put K right here. This should be J. Okay, let's run this again. Integer, integer K is equal to zero. This should be K is equal to zero. K. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna just copy this one and paste from some. Okay, I, I only have this one right here okay let's try this one again k integer k is equal to zero 
and then k is less than 3 less than 3 and then k plus plus and then close this one now let's run this one again okay so get operator get function void opr get opr get before this one should i close one more oh wait, wait. so this one is here okay this is here this is okay this one is okay after four we put oh this one should be an open okay this one should be an open then this is closed 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 now let's run this one and see what we get mm -hmm. opr print wait opr print okay something wrong here this one is okay this is okay here and again this one should be open mm -hmm. okay this is open and after this closed a is closed and okay now let's run this one again now everything works perfectly now let's give some numbers so since we are doing three by three matrix each matrix we put nine input right if you remember a matrix three by three totally we have nine right so first uh, it's going to be nine input so let's uh, type uh, you can type any number you want i'm going to just type one 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 okay this is our first input now let's put our second input 2 2 2 okay 9 times 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 now you see the matrix multiplication we have the multiplication right here and that's how we do the matrix multiplication using operator overloading in C++ program I hope this helps thanks for watching